All right guys, today we are going over the Razco Gen 2 holster that we sell on our website. This is manufactured by Razco Gear up in Montana. Um, this is a unique Kydex holster that can be mounted directly to the bottom of our bino pack or can be worn individually in unison with our harness. So when you purchase the Razco holster, this is what will be included with the holster as you guys see it here. Um, it will be this holster connected to the backer plate with two straps coming out each side and a male and female buckle on the top. When you purchase it through marsupial gear, we're also going to include two of these clips with webbing and an additional torso strap as an option, optional way of securing the holster to your torso. Um, so we're going to show you how to install it on the bottom of the pack, but most importantly, how to put these male buckles on your harness. So this is essentially what you are going to end up with. So you can connect the holster to the bottom of the, the pack and then connect these two side straps into these additional male buckles that are on the horizontal straps. So I'm going to move this harness out of the picture and start with a bare marsupial harness that does not have these buckles installed yet. What you're going to need to do is remove these male auto lock buckles in order to slide on these standard male um, non auto lock buckles. So the goal is to essentially have the buckles when you are done like this. So in order to remove the auto lock buckles, you need a set of needle nose pliers, hemostats work as well. That's what I had handy here. And you're gonna pinch this plastic and put downward pressure on until this piece pops off. What that does is it opens this channel up so you can pull this webbing through the male buckle. So once you have that piece popped off, you're gonna to want to slide the webbing through the buckle and it does take a little bit of effort still and you're going to take that male buckle off. So now you just have a single piece of webbing without a buckle on it. What you're going to do next is make sure your, your harness is laid flat and you're going to want to bring the webbing, make sure you have this tension lock facing down and you're gonna bring the webbing through here and back down through the male buckle. So when you're done, this is how the male buckle should be. You're then going to retake the male auto lock buckle that you had and reinstall that and you're gonna go through this side first and back down the other side. And this is where it'll be a little tight getting it through, and this is where the assistance of some pliers will also help you pull this webbing back through the auto lock buckle. So once you get a corner started, you can actually pull it through fairly easy. And so now you have the buckles here. The important part is to take this piece that you've removed and put it back on the male buckle. You can see that there's a channel right here and there's a bar and that's gonna click right on with a little bit of force. And now you have the buckle installed correctly. So you can now move this buckle for adjustment purposes up and down the horizontal strap and then you have the buckle that connects into your side female buckle of your harness reinstalled. Um, for time's sake of the video, we're not gonna install the other side. I'm just going to show you on the pre-installed harness how we have the, both buckles installed. I'm going to now show you how we are going to connect this holster to the bottom of the marsupial gear bino pack.
you're going to take the backer off and these are one direction snaps so you have to pull on it outside in the snap will lift off and this will come off we're going to set this aside these will only be used if you're wearing the holster individually just with the harness not the bino pack once again the one-way strap or snaps you have to pull them at the right angle for them to open this prevents them from accidentally popping open on their own so now that you have these two straps removed to set them aside and we're going to install these webbing clips that we have put in the bag as well and so now when you're closing it you're going to push from the inside out and it snaps shut you can do the same on the other side. So this is how it should look if you're going to install it on the bottom of your marsupial gear bino harness. On the bottom of the bino harness, you have the full length molly webbing and then a half sized. This half sized is where these clips are going to clip into. With these gatekeepers, you're going to open them. And slide it in through the bottom. Take this one out. So this is how the holster attaches to the bottom of the pack. You would then clip in the harness at the top like normal. Clip in your auto lock buckles as if you were wearing it. This would be on your torso, obviously and not laying flat on this table. And these two remaining female buckles or male buckles that you installed is what this holster clips into. And we're gonna zoom out here in a second and show you what it looks like when it's on your torso and how when connecting to these buckles, it is secure. This is what the holster looks like once it's mounted on the bottom of the bino pack with the two clips that we provided and the male buckles that we just installed. So you can see that you can adjust the tension of this holster on the side by moving these male buckles back and forth. Um, you can now with the handgun, installed this is the final basically how you will be using it and you can draw it and reinsert very easily um, the additional strap that i had talked about prior if you do not like these straps going up to the harness and wanted to have a, a different strap what we're going to do is include this strap when you purchase it through us and this is an uh, adjustable strap we cut this one a little bit long for sample purposes but you will be able to bypass installing these buckles to the harness if you wanted and just have an additional torso strap. And that is another way that you'd be able to use this holster. So we're gonna give you a couple options. The way that it comes exactly from Rasco, which goes directly to your harness. If you don't wanna install these buckles and just want an additional torso strap, we're going to include that as well. Um, so that is the Rasco Gen 2 harness holster. Um, and that's about it. The only other thing we'll show you is how you can use this with um, the harness by itself and not on the bino pack. So the other way that you can use this Rasco Gen 2 holster is by connecting this directly to your marsupial gear bino harness without the pack. So as I showed earlier in the video, it came with female buckles installed on the back of the backer plate. You're gonna reinstall those if you're gonna run that individually of the bino harness. So once in this format, you basically have four points of connection, four female buckles that are exposed that you're gonna connect your marsupial gear bino harness into. So you're going to take the male buckles of our harness, which work with the Rasco female buckles. You're going to install them just like you would be clipping into your binocular harness.
for purposes, if the tethers are still installed. But now you can use this Razco Gen 2 holster as just an individual chest rig. So this is another option that you can use with this, whether you're using it on the bottom of the bino pack or individually. So if you have any questions, shoot us an email at sales at And these are a great way to carry your firearm securely out in the field.